Welcome to Organic Wine Review. I'm your host, Winston Jones, and you are? I'm Brent, the average wine guy. All right. We let him come in here every once in a while to make me look better, but he really knows a little bit more. You than really are an egocentric beast, aren't you? I sure am. It's not about me. It's about the wine, and okay. that's why we're here today. We're Volker, Eisel, Family Estate, mm -hmm. Napa Valley, mm -hmm. special little AVA called... Child's Valley. Child's Valley. I thought Valley. it was Chile's <laughs> Valley. <laughs> no, so this one may be it's a little bit warmer and more continental climate, so I'm really interested in figuring out how this is going to affect the fruit it's as compared to Valley. kind of like you. Stuff. You're warmer and continental yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is a Cabernet Sauvignon, but it's also blended with a couple other grapes, right? A little bit of Merlot and a little bit of Cap Franc. That Merlot is going to kind of round off the tannic structure of the Cabernet. The Cabernet Franc is going to probably give it a little bit of a maybe green... Peppers, we'll see if that Green happens. Peppers. Okay, you smell, and I'll talk about the organics. All right. So, uh, Volker Eisel, family estate, been farming many, many years on this estate. Uh, all organically certified vineyards by CCUF and I believe the California Department of Agriculture. So, great organic lineage in the vineyard. Hopefully, it'll translate to some interesting stuff on your palate. What do you say? What say you? What say I? I say that this wine is opening up. When I first opened the bottle, I thought it was just such a tannic wine. Now it's got that structure, and I'm feeling that it's it's the fruit is beginning to show. And I think even though I might lay this down for a little bit, I think decanting would be wonderful for this wine. Yeah, I would after you open it, definitely don't lay it down, but maybe in a decanter it might work. In Just the, the the law of physics. The law of physics. I, I agree with that. you. I think it smells really interesting. It's got some nice aromas, some subtle textures and and smells, but uh, it is kind of tight and tannic. But it seems like it's in balance. Yeah, so. but it shows promise, just like you, average wine guy. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>